Uh, I'm a PhD student in the University of um, Western Australia. Actually, today it's uh, quite different than whatever it presented so far. Um, I'm going to talk about the competition is the study of uh, two atmospheric reactions which uh, may uh, have uh, important consequence of organic aerosol um, in the atmosphere. Uh, first, uh, um, I will talk about some background of aerosols and then uh, talk about two reaction mechanisms, which one of them is formation of hemiacetal from gallioxal and ethanol, catalyzed by sulfuric acid, and the second one is the um, one and four hydrogen shift in uh, Craigie intermediate, which catalyzed in the by sulfuric acid, and then some result for biogenic component in the troposphere. Um, why we should care about the aerosols? Aerosol has an uh, important uh, impact on uh, human health visibility, uh, whether air quality or climate change. Um, aerosols um, modify the um, air um, energy budget uh, by, um, directly or uh, indirectly, directly by uh, absorbing and uh, scattering uh, of uh, incoming solar. Uh, radiation and um, indirectly by um, cloud modification. Um, in particular, uh, the directly or indirectly impact of aerosol um, represent highest uncertainty on, uh, on the um, projection of future climate in the by atmospheric model. Uh, aerosol can. Uh, Generated by uh, primary by uh, which the source is uh, dust combustion or uh, the plants or in uh, as indirectly uh, in secondary organic aerosols uh, which include the nucleation and grow uh, of the particles by uh, oxidation uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, secondary organic aerosols has uh, important effect on the um, pollution and climate change. Um, oops. Uh, the volatile organic compounds which emitted as a gas uh, to the um, biogenic process, uh, and then uh, they can uh, complex uh, oxidize uh, by uh, complex interaction uh, with sunlight, with sunlight uh, or other oxidant like ozone. Um, and then leads to the secondary organic aerosol, which is um, very important in the uh, air pollution. First reaction that the, um, we talk about is formation of uh, hemiacetal from gallioxal and ethanol, which catalyzed by uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, gallioxal is the simplest di uh, um, uh, di radical which uh, generated in the atmosphere. Uh, through the oxidation of volatile component, uh, volatile uh, organic compounds. Systematically, it uh, can react with uh, two uh, ethanol molecules, uh, which we consider two steps. Uh, the first step is the attack of uh, um, the uh, ethanol to the uh, carbon number one, and leading to the, the hemiacetal, and the uh, second step include them. Uh, the and another uh, ethanol molecule to the carbon number two and resulting to the dihemiacetal. Uh, we used uh, high level uh, composite G4 MP2 uh, for the, all the DFT and abin issue calculation for this uh, mechanism. Uh, this protocol, protocol is widely used for the thermodynamical and kinetical uh, property for all the um, chemistry mechanism. Um, for better comparison, uh, we calculated uh, this reaction mechanism, uh, reaction polyphone of this reaction mechanism um, with um, uncatalyzed, water catalyzed, formic acid, uh, formic acid catalyzed, and sulfuric acid catalyzed. The catalytic effect of um, this uh, sulfuric acid uh, it's related to the size of um, the uh, size of uh, transitional structure which uh, you can see for the uncatalyzed one, we have really high, um, high strain for membrane for uh, uncatalyzed. And then uh, water can uh, 
catalyze this reaction and reduce the barrier by converting the four membrane, high strain four membrane to the less strain um, uh, six membrane transgen structure. Uh, further reduction in, uh, to the reaction barrier will happen but by moving from um, five member transgen structure to the eight membrane transgen structure for the formic acid catalyst. It has been found that the nature of, uh, nature of the atoms in the oxo acid can have an uh, effect uh, to the reduction of uh, barrier, uh, which in this case we, uh, we will see the further reduction on the uh, um, uh, reduction on the barrier will happen from moving uh, from carbon to the larger uh, atom of sulfur. In uh, this slide uh, shows all the reaction profiles uh, of uh, this reaction. Uh, you will see the, um, the um, uh, for the uncatalyzed, uh, water catalyzed, uh, ethanol catalyzed, formic acid catalyzed, and sulfuric acid catalyzed. You will see uh, um, the sulfuric acid is uh, the really uh, can catalyze this reaction. Um, efficiently by uh, reducing the barrier from around 140 kilojoule per mole to the uh, to, uh, 20 kilojoule per mole, which is considerable in both steps of this reaction. The second reaction is the um, one and four uh, hydrogen shift, uh, which catalyzed in the Craigie intermediate by sulfuric acid. The ozonolis uh, received uh, many attention recently because it's the major uh, mechanism for the oxidation in the troposphere. Um, uh, in the ozonolis, uh, we have uh, the um, cyclo addition of the ozone to the uh, carbon, uh, double bond carbon, and then forming the uh, primary ozone, uh, ozone um, which undergo the ring opening to the Craigie intermediate. Uh, one of the major uh, unimolecular uh, reaction uh, for the Craigie intermediate as a st uh, stabilization process is uh, one of four uh, hydrogen shift, which, uh, which we consider in uh, this project. Um, recent uh, experimental and computation study uh, shown that um, the Concentration of sulfuric acid in the atmosphere uh, can be uh, uh, could be uh, as high as 40 percent, uh, 46 percent of the ground uh, level, uh, which um, is uh, attributed to the oxidation by Craigie intermediate of SO2 to the sulfuric acid, which means that is uh, the amount of. Uh, an uh, amount of sulfuric acid in the atmosphere is uh, considered to um, uh, consider as a catalyst. Here is some fact uh, some, uh, about the Craigie uh, intermediate. Craigie intermediate is really high, uh, highly reactive carbon, which um, we, we can see the, much of the un uh, understanding of the, uh, this intermediate is uh, because uh, of the computational study and um, uh, computational study um, and uh, indirect measurement of because the, this intermediate is really high uh, reactive. Um, Craigie intermediate must be uh, established before reaction to the other uh, other component in the uh, troposphere, which uh, one of four hydrogen shift is the most uh, uh, common. Uh, uh, unimolecular reaction for the stabilization. Um, another thing is uh, the Craigie uh, is formulated as a zoiter ion in the um, original world. And here we have the mechanism of uh, sulfuric acid catalyzed uh, of this reaction. By approaching the uh, sulfuric acid to the Craigie, um, the uh, high interaction will uh, create between the uh, this um, oxygen and the beta hydrogen of the Craigie intermediate, which uh, described as a weak hydrogen bond and the another no uh, normal uh, hydrogen bond. The transgen structure is include the nucleophilic attack of the oxygen to the uh, hydrogen of uh, sulfuric acid, 
which uh, leads to the, um, the distance between the oxygen and hydrogen, uh, and, uh, and the carbon number three and number four will shrink, um, whilst the, the uh, distance between carbon number four and five along this to the sulfuric acid. For better comparison, we calculate the, this reaction mechanism uh, for uncatalyzed and water catalyzed as well. Uh, it's clear that, that the um, efficiency of the uh, sulfuric acid as a catalyst, which reduced the barrier uh, of uh, the uncatalyzed uh, reaction um, from uh, 72 kilojoule per mole to around 20 kilojoule per mole. Also, we uh, considered, um, we calculate this reaction for the isoprene. Isoprene is one of the most uh, common, um, common compound in the troposphere, which generated to the, um, from the vegetarian, uh, the uh, terrestrial vegetation. Uh, the ozonolysis of isoprene created these two crazy conformer, we, um, which we consider the one and four. Um, hydrogen shift. You will see for the isoprene one, the highly uh, strain uh, caused the in instability of uh, this uh, conformer compared to the isoprene two, uh, which uh, for the um, product, the scenario will um, reverse completely. We proved this one with our calculation. As you can see, the uh, isoprene number, um, isoprene one is uh, instable um, to the isoprene number two by 7.4 kilojoule, but the product uh, for this uh, reaction is more stable than the, uh, the product number two, which uh, we can describe this um, product as a thermodynamic product, and the other one is as a kinetically product. Uh, you will see we have the same story, uh, the sulfuric acid uh, catalyzed this reaction, from 80 uh, kilojoule per mole to the, you know, less than uh, 20 kilojoule per mole for the, this uh, reaction mechanism. Uh, alpha pinene is uh, another more common terpene in the troposphere. We uh, calculate the reaction mechanism for this uh, component as well. Um, alpha pinene has uh, two rings, which uh, through the uh, ozonolysis um, break one the one ring and. Um, for the, uh, this reaction, uh, this is the reaction profile, which we calculate for the one and four um, proton transfer. Um, we'll see uh, through this reaction the um, catalyzed, uh, the uh, uh, phytosulfuric acid catalyzed uh, and reduce the barrier from 62 to less than 10, which may uh, attribute to the in fact, that uh, less flexibility of the, this product may um, lead to the earlier transient structure and less disorder. Um, and summary, we calculated, uh, we used a high level G4MP2 protocol to calculate uh, the two reaction mechanism, which uh, catalyzed by sulfuric acid. Uh, one of them uh, was um, the formation of uh, hemiacetal to the gallioxal and ethanol, and the other one, one and four hydrogen shift for the Krage intermediate. Uh, it, this result shows that the uh, sulfuric acid can uh, catalyze this reaction with almost no barrier, and the water exhibits um, a minor catalytic effect. Uh, this computational finding um, may, um, uh, may have some import, important consequence for the formation of secondary organic aerosol under atmosphere. Mm, thanks for it.